Yo, what is up, my knights of the round table? Welcome back to Music Night with the Night. We got a Cameron the Person battle. This is the Joker, the Clown Prince of Crime, versus Sideshow Bob. I can't do a good Sideshow Bob voice, but I'm a big fan of DC Comics, big fan of the Joker, my favorite comic book villain of all time, one of my favorite villains of all time, next to Darth Vader, uh, versus Sideshow Bob. I'm a I didn't get to really mention this before. I, I'm I'm a big Simpsons fan. I, I I love the Simpsons, and I really love the uh, sideshow Bob episodes they do, like the little special treats. My favorite one was the uh, the one where they I think it was like the s second no no third sideshow Bob episode where he breaks out of prison and he's writing Bart these blood notes. And Bart and his family move and like to a boat house to live. And Sideshow Bob falls and he's like under the car getting hit by cactuses. That episode of me was just hilarious. So I'm sorry I'm getting off track. But we got a battle to get to. Let's break it down. Let me get a sip of water before we go. So that way I'm fresh for the breakdown. Okay, let's do this. Three. Wait. And here we go. I'll send thee to the heaven. Joker. Oh, that's like that's like the Silver Age Joker. What's this? Occam's instinct calleth up the posse to refuse. Just a heretic. He should stay there if he thinks he'll fit my shoes. Yeah, he got big ass feet. Well, you lose to a kid. Wow. But he didn't kill Bart canonically. That was a that was a treehouse of horror. You can't stop jittering. Get it the IRS from all the fraud you're committing. Copy that little flower as it's all I'm spitting. Okay. With how much you're getting roasted. He's good now. End up exploding. Said you got no hospital to cover for this illness. You'll disappear from Gotham's side just like a pencil. So you don't know that you're being outshined. But if you're akin to Sesso, you'll prove me right. Next time you talk about scars, tell him I gave you those. Ironic, the Emperor just became a sideshow. Why so serious, Bob? Did I hear it too? That's a hell of a sideshow Bob impression, Pam. I wish I could do that. Quizzic you or quizzical? I'm, I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume that's quizzic you. Quizzic you did a fucking really good job as Joker. I wish I had. Like once again, I'm, I'm jealous of everybody else's talent. I have years tried to perfect a Joker voice, and I just I don't I don't have the pitch for it. I have the laugh. I don't have the pitch. I love that that's Silver Age Joker. So before I get down to the breakdown, you know what? Let's just save it to the end. Let's do the breakdown first, so that way we can absorb the battle, absorb the bars. Show Bob. Without a posse to abuse, insane clown, insane clown posse. Without a posse to abuse, Joker abuses his henchmen and Harley. He's really abusive to those around him. Like, he will kill his henchmen just for a laugh. Just a heretic. Calling him a heretic, which I mean, it's fitting. He should stay there if he thinks he'll fit my shoe. Bob's got big ass feet, as you see. Those are not just funny sh No, that's his actual fucking feet. <laughs> you know what they say about guys with big feet? You look in the face off, I'll happily indulge. Face off in the new 52, Joker cut his face off so Batman would see that he's always smiling. Yeah, he's fucking nuts. <laughs> and he's staying conscious too, like he has an obscene amount of pain tolerance. Indulge. Make this twice you trade self-respect with... Make this twice you trade self-respect with skulls. 
Uh, this is a reference to the Marvel and DC crossover of the 90s where Joker teamed up with Red Skull, which he did double cross in Joker's defense. Joker may be a mass murdering psychopath, but he's he's an American, and he does not like the Goose Walkers, Goose Steppers, whatever you want to call them, the uh, Bad Mustache Man Brigade, the <laughs> Yahtzees. Joker does not like them, as you see, he is double crossing him. So in Joker's defense. Which I don't know why Joker didn't suspect, because I'm pretty sure he's wearing the insignia right there. But I think Joker thought it was like a shtick, like a like a joke. You never run a track on me, Democratic skull. Uh, Sideshow Bob's a Republican. Like I think, he, yeah, he was even an episode where he was the mayor. Joker does not remember his past. Like uh, this is the reference to the Killing Joke, where if I'm going to have a past, I prefer it to be multiple choice. A circus act losing to a circus act losing to a bat. You know he's a clown. A clown's a circus act. Uh, he's losing to Batman a lot. A Once again, you lose to a kid a lot. You used to a brat. Fell into a vat and well, that's that. Joker fell into a vat of chemicals. That's what stained his skin, bleached his hair green, and stretched his face into a smile, and it drove him crazy. Performance I died for. Truth I'll tell. Ledger heard the request and got sent to. This reference to the fact that Heath Ledger's, you know, a critically acclaimed and phenomenal role as the Joker in The Dark Knight, he sadly passed away after, or even before, I, I was a kid when this happened, so forgive me if I'm not really too sure. Either he, he passed away before, I think he passed away before the movie came out, and he got sent to hell. This is a reference to um, the episode that I love, the one where he, Bart has to move to the boat. I'll send thee to heaven, then send thee back to hell. So he's referencing how Heath Ledger tragically passed away before uh, getting to see his to see the movie and its glory. See how he was loved and respected for his role as the Joker, and you know get Cindy to heaven, Cindy back to hell. He's gonna kill him. Heath Ledger died. He died in the role. Trying to gas me up, you know, Joker gas, laughing gas, trying to gas him up. But this is the time you're the one getting mugged. Didn't Sideshow Bob... Yeah, he mugged Apu in his first... Not his first episode, because he had a cameo in another episode. But the first episode he was featured in, he mugged Apu disguised as Krusty. You and Harley would get along playing second fiddle because Harley played second fiddle to Joker and uh, Sideshow Bob played second, fi second fiddle to Krusty the Clown. Remember, kids, TV nudies be okay as long as you don't show a nipple. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. I think that was something from my Twitch. You're tone deaf. You know, it's not Sideshow Bob singing, killing his ears. And killing the brat took how many years? It took Sideshow Bob a long time to kill Bart, which I think the first time he killed him was not even canon. It's a Treehouse of Horror special. No, that's a punchline I'd actually laugh at. That's a punchline I'd actually laugh at. Joker's new girlfriend is punchline, so that could be a reference to that, but it, more than likely it's in flow of it's a punchline. He's calling Sideshow Joe, Sideshow, Sideshow Joe, Sideshow Bob a joke. You were shot out of a cannon. What a mess! You were shot out of a cannon. That was his whole shtick. Was uh, was crushing the clown would shoot him out of a cannon. I'm aware of how I fell off, but unlike you, I wouldn't be caught dead swimming in that gene pool. I know where I fell off, but unlike you, I wouldn't be caught dead swimming in that gene pool. Caught dead swimming in that gene pool. It's unlike you. I don't know which one. Okay, is it referencing the sideshow Bob's brother? Is that what they're referencing? I only got so far on The Simpsons. I think I've only seen like 20 seasons. And there's a lot, there's like 30 fucking seasons of Simpsons. Yes, he is uh, British. He. <laughs> I think, I don't know why that made me laugh. It's just, I, I, it, that was Joker's big diss. He's like, you're British. <laughs> it's such a... uh, he always hits a break. Pity that much like your teeth, you can't stop jittering. Jittering teeth. Uh, I think this reference to the Batman 89 movie where he punched him, you know, he popped his teeth out and they were clattering, joke, jittering teeth. Dented the IRS from all the fraud you're committing. Call me that little flower as it's on. I'm crazy enough to take on the Batman, but the IRS? 
No, thank you. Joker is the rest of Joker's millions. Uh, a new Batman, um, Batman and Family Adventures, I think. No, new Batman and Robin Adventures. Uh, where uh, Joker's indebted to the RRS and Joker's scared of the RRS. He's like, I'm crazy enough to take on Batman, but the RRS is where I draw the line. So Joker steals all these millions of dollars to get out of debt. Great episode. <laughs> oh, that flower on your uh, your person, acid on spitting, is Joker's acid flower. Okay, putting how much you're getting roasted. This rumors to the Batman Superman crossover. Putting he is now because Joker's getting blown up in that plane, and everything he's putting that he's nothing. He's been blown to bits. Uh, and Harley Quinn always calls Joker Puddin. Like that's his, that's her nickname for him is Puddin. Uh, bars drop. You'll be Red Hood again. We're never gonna end up exploding. End up exploding. This is reference to Under the Red Hood, where Joker dropped a crowbar on Jason Todd. Drop bars. Exploded. He blew him up at a warehouse. That's a reference to Jason Todd. You'll be Red Hood again. Jason Todd became the Red Hood, but the person that held the Red Hood mantle before was a guy named Jack Napier, aka Joker. You got no hospital that's reference to the Dark Knight where Joker blew up a hospital. Uh, that sickness is a reference to Arkham City where the Titan formula was killing him. And just for like the pencil did, that's a reference to the Dark Knight. I'm uh, gonna make this pencil disappear. Ta-da! It's gone. So you don't know jack about being outshined, but if you're akin to Cecil, you'll prove me right. You don't know jack about being outshined, Jack, referencing his aliases, Jack Napier, Jack White, uh, uh, Cecil, that's Sideshow uh, side Bob's brother is Cecile, Cecil, that's his brother. Next time you talk about scars, tell him I gave you those. I run! You want to know how I got these scars, Dark Knight? Like the Emperor just became a sideshow! The Emperor just became a sideshow, this reference to Emperor Joker. Which was when Joker got Batmite's power and became a god, basically. Why so serious, Bob? Did I heard you really do that? Why so serious? A lot of Dark Knight references here. And you go up in smoke! Was then a cigarette can? A cigarette can go up in smoke like an exploding cigar, or a cigarette you go up in smoke, it disappears in the smoke. Oh, my finger, Bob, I promise it won't hurt. Can't stab you much more than your wife and twerp. Can't stab you much more than your wife and twerp. Uh, Sideshow Bob, wife and kid were fucking crazy, just like he was. Uh, I think they were from Italy, too. Tell you a magic trick, it'll be the pen down in your truck like a pass. Let me show you a magic trick. Uh, bring the curtain down, and you'll drop like your parents did. Sideshow Bob and Cecile's parents died in an episode. Uh, they might have killed him. I'm not too sure. <laughs> so this was a fun battle. Like I had a lot of fun breaking this down. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. I think this is a great battle. I was just looking for that that one haymaker, and there was good jabs here, but I didn't get that haymaker. Well, okay, wait, 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 wait. Me, me, me recite that. Let me take that back. I will say the Ledger bar is kind of a fucking dirty one. It, it's kind of dirty because I love Heath Ledger. I'm, to this day, I'm very sad he passed away. So that might have been the haymaker I was looking for. Yeah. Okay. Bumping it up from a 9 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10. We got a 10 out of 10 battle. Love it. Hmm. Now, who do I think won? Like I said, Sideshow Bob had the biggest haymaker. I liked his wordplay with um, with Jason Todd, Bars, Red Hood. I liked that whole wordplay he did there, the double meanings, the face off. Hmm. As of right now, I'm leaning towards Sideshow Bob. Like I said, I think Sideshow Bob had the biggest punch of this battle. And I liked his wordplay. But I will say Joker was very consistent in his verses. I think he did I think he stood his ground. It's close, but I'm I'm leaning towards Sideshow Bob. So guys, let me know who you thought won in the comments below. Big shout out to Titanium, big shout outs to QuizzQ, and big shout outs to Cameron, the person for bringing this battle to my attention because he knows I love the Joker. And Cameron, if you got any more battles you think I would love? Please let me know in the comments below. I fucking love this, so I'm happy to react to more.
That's your sign to give me more. More? A process? More? So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And as always... <clears throat> <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.